In this video, I would like to consider placing text on drawn objects in PowerPoint 2013, and after that, consider placing text on SmartArt. We can draw an object by going to the Insert tab, clicking the drop-down under Shapes to see the Shapes Gallery, and then picking the shape we want to draw. Let's go ahead and pick this rounded corner rectangle. Our cursor becomes a crosshair, and let's just drag it out to draw this object. Now most of the objects you draw with the Shape Gallery will accept text. That's not true of the lines and the um, single line arrows, but it's true of all of the other objects. And in fact, some of them, let me revisit that Shapes Gallery, some of them in fact beg for text, like these callouts. Uh, but all of them except these lines will accept text on them. And all you do after you draw the object is type the text. I'll type the word label here. And the label and the uh, text that you type is not separable from the object that it's drawn on. I cannot ungroup the text from the object. So if you need to ungroup, uh, you'll have to use the ungroup command. And you can see a future video about that. But for now I have text typed on here and the text is selectable and editable. It's centered right now but if I wanted it to be left justified I could click uh, that and you can see PowerPoint preserves a certain margin here. I can go back to centering it. I can change its color and its size and all of the normal editing functions are possible here. Okay, Now that's uh, text on a draw an object, and it's not what you would call smart text. Let me go ahead and extend this, uh, add a few more words, and I'll show you what happens. You see the text does not auto resize to stay within the borders of the object itself, and so I can just go on typing, and this looks pretty bad, and for that reason, um, very uh, short labels are encouraged on uh, text like this. Okay. That's text on a drawn object. Now let's consider SmartArt. I'm going to delete this object. And on the Insert tab, there is a SmartArt tool here. If we click it, we'll see the SmartArt Gallery. And some of the pieces of SmartArt that we're going to be using uh, only allow a certain uh, number of objects within them, but others can be um, expanded to include any number of objects. Let's go to the, for an example, go to the Process menu here. And I'm going to go ahead and just click this continuous block process to show you how this works. Insert it on my slide. And uh, when you first put a piece of smart art on a slide, you'll see text placeholders on the objects within the piece of smart art. And you'll also see a text panel that is by default unfolded when you insert the smart art. And I can either type my text over here after the bullet points or I can type it right on the objects. Let me go ahead and type some text here so you'll get a feel for this. Okay, let me click on this object and type the next one. And let me click over here in the text panel and type my third one. And this is why they call it smart art. When I want to add another element, I can press enter, and another uh, piece of drawn art is added to the piece of smart art. Let me type on this one. I'm going to press enter again to add another element, and now I'm going to type a lot of text. And if you're paying attention, you'll notice that the text resizes to fit on all of the objects simultaneously. That's what's so smart about it. The way to get rid of elements is to simply highlight them in the text panel or select them in the drawing itself and delete them. You see that? And notice how the text expanded to fit within the object. So it's a pretty pretty darn nice approach for adding text to drawings. Uh, some of the pieces of smart art you can also add um, pictures to. It saves you all the trouble of typing this text in a text box, placing it on the object, grouping the object, and so forth. Uh, very convenient. This started with PowerPoint uh, 2010 and it's improved with PowerPoint 2013. And then of course we can color our smart art. We can add on the smart art gallery 3D effects and you end up with a fairly sophisticated looking drawing like that. So those were examples of placing text on a drawn object and placing text 
on a piece of smart art. Thanks for listening.